Okay guys, I've now been on the Revel Rascal for about three months now and almost 500 miles on this uh, bike. I had the demo bike before that which had the 140 millimeter RockShox pike up front. I ended up buying this bike and I put a 150 millimeter RockShox Lyric on here. Um, I'm so excited to tell you guys about this bike today. I've had so much fun on it. It, uh, it could be my only bike. Now, if you follow the channel, I usually own two bikes at a time. So right now I have the Ibis Ripley, which is kind of my short travel. I try to build it up as lightweight as possible. And then the Rascal is a little bit less travel with only 130 millimeters of travel in the rear than what I would normally have for my big bike. But I built it up with good, heavy, uh, durable tires, 150 millimeter RockShox Lyric, like I mentioned, on the front. And it's been really fun it's kind of serving its purpose as my big bike for the more gnarly trails. Um, the great thing about it, though, is when I go and ride my local slower speed, more single track tight trails, it climbs really well. It gets through uh, kind of tighter, slow speed turns really well and gets back up to speed kind of quick. It has a pretty sporty feel considering how capable it is on the downhill. So if you're not familiar with the Revel Rascal, there'll be a link right up here to my original uh, test ride and review video of that bike with the original 140 millimeter fork on it. Um, and then for today, you know, I'm just gonna kind of tell you what my experience has been like owning it for the last three months and putting a lot of miles on it. So a quick refresher, 66 degree head tube angle, 75 degree seat tube angle, pretty short wheelbase for how capable this bike is. I mean, oftentimes to get a bike that actually really rides well through the really chundery trails, it's got a longer wheelbase and more travel. And the problem with that for me is when you ride the slower speed, more just cross country trails or, or blue type trails, is the bike can feel a little lethargic or a little dull or a little slow, where this still feels sporty and zippy and fun. But then on the big trails, that 130 millimeter Canfield Balance Formula suspension doesn't get overwhelmed. It tracks well, it soaks up all the bumps. It kind of has a, rear a rearward moving axle path when it sucks into the suspension. And so it feels really buttery smooth, kind of like a hover bike when they use that term hover bike. It has that sensation descending, just really like flowy, good feel uh, through chundry sections of trail. Um, as you can see in the video today, we're riding some pretty aggressive downhill, lots of uh, kind of six to eight inch roots and rocks and chundry sections, and it's kind of higher speed and it's really tight. So a bike like this really excels in terrain like you see today uh, in this video today. the seat tube angle 75 degrees and 66 degree head tube angle although mine's slightly altered because I bumped the fork up 10 millimeters so it might be raked out a little closer to like you know 65 and a half or, or a little bit more and then maybe 74 and a half in the seat tube but the thing that I like about it is it's really easy all day pedaling like you don't feel too aggressively over the bars. The seat tube angle isn't perching you like, like sitting perched up over the bars like this, um, like a lot of new modern geometry bikes are doing now. So I love the geometry of this bike. Um, bikes that, that I feel like this is as capable as almost would be like the Pivot Switchblade or the Yeti SB130, the Rocky Mountain Instinct um, also reminds me a lot of this bike. Um, I would say you start getting into bikes like the, um, the Ibis Ripmo or even the Pivot Switchblade maybe are a little bit more capable on the really chundery higher speed trails. Um, certainly like the, uh, the Santa Cruz High Tower is probably a little bit more capable. The Evil uh, offering is a little bit more capable, but man, this pedal's better than most of those bikes with exception to maybe the Pivot Switchblade. And uh, having ridden and, and spent quite a bit of time on all those bikes, um, this is probably the most sporty, zippy feeling of the longer travel 29ers that are available right now. And that's what drew me to this bike uh, in the first place is I get asked all the time uh, in comments down below my videos or in Instagram, uh, on Instagram di direct messages or in emails, 
Jason, I can only own one bike at a time. What bike should I get? And so I'm always kind of thinking that in the back of my mind. And if you like to go, uh, you know, really high speed, uh, you know, just talking about who this bike is for, if you like to go really high speed, fast downhills through really chundry sections of trail, and your, your sights are kind of set on something like the Specialized Stump Jump or the Giant Rain or um, Pivot Switchblade, Ibis Ripmo, um, you know, some of these bikes, the uh, Yeti SB150. This is a bike that can kind of hang with all those longer travel bikes. If your buddies are riding those bikes, this is a bike that can hang with good tires. But the cool thing about this bike and the reason why I bought it was you throw some cross country tires on here and man, it feels as zippy as and as fast almost as like the Pivot Trail 429 or the Short Travel Stump Jumper. Uh, by, by Specialized. It feels as, uh, as zippy or zippier and uh, better climbing, in my opinion, than like the Santa Cruz Tall Boy. Um, it's not quite as sporty and zippy as my personal Ibis Ripley, but when I put really fast tires on this Rascal, it just comes to life. It feels really fast under uh, out of the saddle climbing, pedal input. Um, you can spend all day on it. I've done over 25 miles on this on this ride, on this bike, a couple times on different rides, and it felt awesome. Um, so, man, in terms of one bike to do it all, I'm not sure there's a better one out there than the Rascal. Uh, ones that might give it a run for its money would be the, the Pivot Switchblade, if, again, your emphasis is on capability on the downhill high-speed stuff. Um, and you know, there's not one perfect bike for everyone out there. That's, that's the reality. And I, and I should probably speak to that more on these videos because a lot of times I think to myself that the Ibis Ripley could be the perfect bike for everyone out there. Um, it really comes down to the type of trails you guys ride most often and how fast you ride. The reality is I could get a hard tell cross country race bike down most of the trails that I ride. I just have to go a lot slower than if I was riding this or a Yeti SB150, right? Um, to, to, to match the bike to the trails and riding style that you have, the best is what you're looking for. The Rascal, I think, for most people I see out on the trails would serve really well if you had a slight emphasis on jumping and gnarlier trails and higher speed. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting. Revel just recently came out with a new bike called the Revel Range. It's 115 millimeters with the same Canfield Balance formula, which is an incredible suspension uh, system that Revel uses. Um, on that new Ra uh, Ranger, I'd be really interested to see what that bike's like. I'd love to compare it to my personal Ibis Ripley. Um, I'd love to compare it to this Rascal that I have. Um, it's tough to find the perfect one bike out there, but I would imagine for most people, this Rascal gets as close uh, as possible to doing that. And then alter tires here and there, try a different tire combo and see which one's best for your trail system and your riding style. Um, to sum it up, you know, the Rascal has a really sporty, fun feel considering how well it tracks and how stable it is through those rougher sections of trail. Um, it's confidence inspiring. It's really comfortable and easy to sit on. Um, actually, I'm glad I just remembered that. The one last thing that I would probably say about the Rascal that really I love about a bike, and not all bikes are this way, but you don't have to ride it super, super hard to have fun on it. You can just get on it and it feels good. It feels good climbing. It feels good descending. You don't have to push it super hard to get all the fun out of it. My Ibis Ripley on the downhills, you kind of have to push it a little bit harder to get fun out of it. Um, a Pivot Trail 429, again, you really got to ride that bike hard to have a lot of fun on it. Um, there are some bikes out there though, like this Rascal, that you can just get on, relax, have a good time. You might feel like you're a better rider than you normally are riding it. It's very forgiving. That suspension style, like I said, is just unbelievable. It's, it's like magic and it just makes you feel like a better rider than you probably are. And who doesn't, who doesn't love that, you know? Um, I also like that uh, Revel is a direct consumer bike. You can buy it online. If you're local, call up Salt Cycles. I, um, I bought my bike from Salt Cycles. I demoed uh, their demo bike for about a month before I finally got my bike in stock. Um, Salt Cycles has these in stock. You can also order the new Ranger from Salt Cycles. And the cool thing about ordering from Salt is you can get a custom build. So, uh, you know, the, the Rascals offered from Revel's website and I think three builds, two or three builds, um, starting at about $5,000. 
but I did a custom build with full Shimano uh, XTR group set, which they don't offer on their website. They, I think they just offer SRAM drivetrains. So uh, call Chris at Salt Cycles, 801-943-8502. I've only memorized that because I get asked all the time in Instagram direct messages, hey, what's the phone number for Salt, salt Cycles? Anyway, give them a call. They can custom build your, your um, Rascal like I did mine. Um, I love this paint job. It's just incredible. The bike's been amazing. I wouldn't, uh, I don't regret going with the, with the Lyric. Um, I can't recommend it enough if it's your only bike and you really have an emphasis on high speed, more stability. Uh, the Pike is really good also. It comes, like I said, with a 140 millimeter fork, but uh, what a great, great time to be a mountain biker. There's so many good options. I love that Revel is a new bike company. They've been out for about a year and a half out of Colorado. What a cool company, cool ownership, a uh, great story behind the brand. Um, and uh, I guess one more thing is if you end up buying a Revel Rascal, not everybody out on the trail is going to have the same bike as you because it's just not as big of a brand as Specialized or Trek um, or Giant or Santa Cruz or Ibis or some of these other brands. So I've uh, been stoked on it. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope it was helpful. Subscribe, hit the like button if you would, if you thought this was useful. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to, to respond to comments in the section below. And uh, yeah, what a great time to be a mountain biker. Love it. The Rascal's been so much fun the last three months and over 500 miles on this thing. It's just been a blast. <laughs>